poor guy with the black stone and rotisserie. There's a chicken. I don't know how much it was, how much it, how much it weighs, but here's my new expert grill rotisserie. Seventy five dollars at Walmart. So this expert grill is kind of like a Walmart private label, right? So seventy five dollars. I've been wanting to get a rotisserie for some chickens and some other meats. And I saw this bugger. It was originally 100 bucks. I got it for 75 So I'm like, why not try a chicken? I've never, ever done this before. Here's a little motor. One speed. It takes two of the D batteries, or you can plug it in. I just put a bunch of Kingsford charcoal in the bottom. There's my chicken. I tied it up as best I know how, you know, so the legs and the wings aren't hanging off, even though that wing is kind of hanging off. <laughs> uh, and I just put it on. Uh, I don't know. It's a portable grill, so I got it on a little stand. It's small. I'm excited, and I'm thinking I might need to put a drip pan underneath there, but I'm going to let it go and see what happens. This is what I put on the chicken, olive oil, Tom and Marie Garvey, and a chickalicka bam bam. That's all I put on it, and threw some of that chickalicka bam bam inside the chicken. I'm going to do this video myself. There's going to be no editing, and when I come back, I don't know if I'll do a halfway in between or if I'll do a final let you know how long it took what it looks like but I'm rolling with this might have to put some more charcoal in there I didn't put any wood chips or anything in it it's all open so I'm gonna try this myself I'm gonna try this video myself in all theory it should work I can already smell it it does smell good it is cooking all right, that's what we got. Wish me luck. We're not having this for supper. If it does work, we're gonna take it apart and use it for chicken Alfredo for Monday night dinner. All right, Expert Grill, $75 at Walmart. That's what we're looking at today, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. Poor guy, the glass. Blip, poor guy with the Blackstone. I'm back at you about two and a half hours later. This is what we're looking at. It looks good. I added some more charcoal. I just took that grate off because I really don't need it right now. Added charcoal once. Um, I don't know what the temperature is uh, of the, the ambient temperature. I have no idea. But the chicken is looking actually very good. Um, and I just probed it. And we're looking at about 140, 140 degrees. Two and a half hours in, obviously we're looking at uh, pulling it off here at about 160, 162. All right, notice that hook. You're like, what the heck, poor guy? Well, I'll tell you. As you see it spinning, I don't have it centered properly on these prongs, which is causing it to spin and the weight and jerking it a little bit. So there's a little gap. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little gap right there that as it spins, it's pulling farther away from the motor and the rod is actually popping out of the motor. So I think that's partly my fault. I don't know if it's a design issue or if it's just the fact that this is my first time and I don't have it centered properly. I mean, you can see that one is just not even in the meat. So obviously I gotta get better at doing that. Um, my little uh, butcher twine is holding the legs in place and the wings for the most part. So that's going good. It smells awesome. It is cooking. Two and a half hours into my $75 expert grill rotisserie, portable rotisserie. That's what we're looking at, folks. Stay tuned for final product. Peace. Okay, so, yeah. Um... 
the video that I started on Sunday, uh, I wasn't able to finish it due to some uh, scheduling arrangements. Now, things got super busy. I wanted to tell you, um, the chicken came out fantastic uh, for the first time. We ended up breaking it down Sunday evening and using it for chicken Alfredo uh, Monday night. Uh, one thing I did notice about this, and I don't remember if I mentioned it already, but um, I didn't have the chicken completely centered on the prongs. So it was a little lopsided, so when it, when it would spin, it would be kind of a jerking motion. So with that happening, there's a, there's a gap there, and so it would move this rod over and come detached from the motor. Uh, but I just, <laughs> I rigged it. I put this little clip here and it kept it from doing it because it would do it probably every 15, 20 minutes, uh, which was a little bit annoying. But um, next time when I do something on the rotisserie, I will uh, try to make sure the meat is centered in there better and see if that makes a difference. But that was the only problem I had with the $75 expert grill from Walmart. Um, it was a lot of fun doing it. I kept my eye on it. Uh, it ended up taking about, by the time we broke it down, about three and a half to four hours, which wasn't bad. And it was super juicy and, and good. So I just wanted to follow up. We'll see if I can put all these pieces together. Rob's editing. Tori wasn't part of this one. I was trying to give her a break, but that's what we had. Uh, sorry you didn't see the finished product, but eh, this poor guy with Blackstone, completely unprofessional. Thanks, guys. Peace.